Hello friends, welcome again and let us discuss one more interview question uh, from uh, which was asked in MS program in one of the IITs and this is the question, okay. What is the resilience and how is it or how it is different from strain energy? That is the first question and the supplementary question to this was, does resilience depends on volume, right. So, first of all, you need to have the understanding of strain energy. If you have understood the strain energy clearly, then I think you can answer it very well, right. So, see, uh, strain energy is simply when we say that is if you for this if you want to see the earlier video where I have explained about the strain energy just uh, watch one of the question which I have discussed on the similar lines on strain energy earlier right there I explained you the strain energy. So, strain energy is a general term first of all. So, when you deform a material so whether you deform it within the elastic limit or within the plastic limit anywhere. So, when you deform the material whatever the energy which gets stored in the material we call it as a strain energy. So, let us say if I am having this force deflection diagram with me let us say this is a force deflection. So, I am deforming the material gradually keep it in mind I am talking when I am loading the material and deforming the material let us say in tension gradually then force deflection diagram you may be having something this kind of diagram it will look similar kind of like for uh, this uh, you are having uh, something like you are having uh, this uh, uh, stress strain diagram ok. But anyway, so when we talk about the when we deform the material gradually let us say we apply increase the force or apply the force and this. So, in uh, uh, universal uh, that is um, UTM uh, universal testing machine for first you will get the force deflection diagram. Now, so I am deforming the material right from the start to till the end it breaks. So, wherever I will deform it whether I deform it within the elastic limit let us say up to this point or whether I deform it in the plastic region. It means whatever the energy that I am supplying or whatever the work that I am doing that is getting getting into the material. But what happens is within the elastic limit let us say this is the elastic limit. So, within the elastic limit that whatever the external work that we have done that is totally regained. So, when I will deform it let us say for example, within elastic limit if I deform it then if you release the load it will come back that means whatever the external work done work that you did which got stored in the form of strain energy that will be regained. But let us say if I deform it into the plastic region I go on deforming and let us say you have permanently deform it somewhere over here. Then also that energy that you have supplied that is getting stored, but the only difference is going to be in plastic region is that the total energy that you have supplied external work that you have done some of that work will go in deforming permanently changing the shape of the material whereas some work will be regained. So, for that I think that you must be having the understanding. So, if we deform any material within the plastic region there is a elastic recovery. So, when we will release the load you know if I go on deforming till this point and release the load then it will come to something it will follow this line. It means this portion we call this portion as elastic recovery. So, I hope you have studied the stress strain diagram something like that we call it as a elastic recovery portion stress strain diagram we show it that way. Anyway, I am explaining it in the force deflection diagram just to make you understand. So, it means within the plastic region what happens is if we deform the material some form some energy that external work that we have done which will get stored in the material we will totally call it as a strain energy, but some portion of that strain energy is basically going in deforming the material permanently whereas some portion will be recovered that is the only difference. It means that strain energy when we talk about that is it is a general term for the energy which is getting stored in the material whether we deform it within the elastic limit or plastic limit. Now, the question is what is the resilience and how it is different from the strain energy. Now, when we talk about the resilience, resilience is also the strain energy, but when we talk about the strain energy within the elastic limit then when we talk about the strain energy within the elastic limit then that strain energy is known as resilience strain energy 
विद इन इलास्टिक लिमिट एज सिंपल एज दैट सो लेट अस से इफ यू डिफॉर्मिंग द मटीरियल विद इन द इलास्टिक लिमिट एनी वेयर लेट से आई दिल दिस पॉइंट और टिल दिस पॉइंट और टिल दिस पॉइंट सो up to within the elastic limit when you are deforming the material we will call it as strain energy and let's say if i say if you have deformed the material if you have applied this much force and it has got deformed by this much amount then what is the strain energy stored in the material you will say this is the strain energy that is the area under the diagram i have already explained you see this is what earlier if you have not watched that video watch that video here i have explained you in detail strain energy and related concept where this was the question one of the question which i discussed and here i explained you that how we can give the strain energy that is the area under the stress strain diagram that is a half of p into or oh sorry not stress strain diagram force deflection diagram half of p into delta and there i explained you in detail that means when i am deforming the material within the elastic limit right then that strain energy stored in the material we call it as a resilience that is the only difference that means resilience is so how to answer resilience is a strain energy only but when we talk within the elastic limit when we talk anywhere within the elastic limit about that strain energy we have given it a name called as resilience so it means whatever the strain energy that whatever the strain energy formula that you get within the elastic limit basically that is a formula for resilience only or you can say that is resilience only it means the this formula that we have i have explained it with you in the earlier that particular video uh, in this question whatever all that i have explained you how we can give that particular strain energy within the elastic limit so that is already valid for this particular resilience only so i can say this strain energy which i have explained in earlier video basically this is also the i can call that as a resilience also so should i write it this way okay this is uh, this is what i have obtained sigma square 2 into volume so can i say that i can write it this way also half of p into delta this becomes the external work done or that is the strain energy stored within the elastic limit this is resilience also and finally the formula that we obtained 2 sigma square 2e into volume this is what we obtain and this is what i have explained you over here also so now can you explain it now next question does resilience depends on volume so first if we have to be clear about does the strain energy depends upon volume this is what we have explained over here does the strain energy depends on volume yes of course it depends upon volume so if strain energy depends upon volume why not that particular resilience obviously it will also depend upon the volume so this is going to be my answer but all things you have to relate you cannot discuss all these things in isolation so first just I, i i would advise you to just go through the earlier video just watch that and then relate it with this particular concept so so basically in these interviews they just starts from the very basic they give you very basic question okay what is strain energy and then they get, go on asking okay does it depend upon volume then go to resilience what is resilience how it is different from strain energy does it also depends upon volume something that way so these questions could be answered by you only when you have the basic understanding of these concepts so hopefully uh, you may have understood this and uh, some more questions from this particular topic which i have been asking the iits i will be discussing in the next video video so see you in the next video till then bye thank you